guys, welcome to my channel. Alright guys, how are you doing today? Day 2000 of quarantine. If you're looking at this of quarantine, if it's later, then that's fine. So today, I just want to start really quick because let's not make a long intro. Today we're going to be trying products that TikTok made me buy. And you probably know what I'm talking about. I am obsessed with TikTok. I'm on TikTok 24-7. It's bad. It's an obsession. It's just, I don't know. I have not figured out how to go viral on TikTok. Next step. Oh, we never know. We never know how I go. <laughs> That's ugly. But if you want to see the products that TikTok made me buy, keep watching. All right, guys. The first product we're trying on is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. When I was telling you, I heard people raving about this. They were raving about it. It was crazy. And it's also in a lipstick shape, so it was kind of interesting. YouTuber. Yeah, you can see it. So that's how it looks. Okay, so the directions for this product says to damp your lips and then do circle of motion. So I'm gonna try it out now. I don't have damp lips for it, but let's try it. And I'm gonna be using my mirror from my Nervina palette. So if you see it, that's where it's from. It feels actually really good. My lips are feeling soft already because I have really, really chapped lips because I do not drink water. It's a bad habit. Bad habit. I feel like my lips are wet now, but I guess my, in my opinion, it's an okay exfoliator. It's kind of rough. I'm not sure what it's made with. It says it gently exfoliates. So you have to be very, very careful because if you're not gentle, then it's going to hurt. kind of hurt for me. Definitely not gentle, but it's nice. And it was for a dollar, so for four dollars, it's pretty good, I would think. So if you want to give it a try, I think it's nice. Not the greatest, but it's really nice. Okay, guys, and the next product we're gonna try, I was so excited about because I saw it everywhere. I saw it on Instagram, I saw it on TikTok, I saw it on YouTube. Everyone was going crazy about it because it's a dupe for a special product. Guess what it is? You guessed it. It's the Elf Pretty. It's the Elf. Poreless Putty Primer. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas that is $40-$50. The new Silk Canvas from is the liquid one from Tatcha is it's $52. So it's a lot to say. This one was $8. So let's see how this one goes. Let's see how this one goes. But this is how it looks um, when you take out the packaging. We take it off the packaging and this is the inside. It's very sleek and pleasing. It looks so cute. So cute. Again, don't look at my nails. Just painted them yesterday they're coming off i do not understand i'm not doing anything at home and look it so yeah let's give it a try and see how it goes and in the instructions it says to apply a thin layer and then wait 30 seconds for it to dry before you apply anything else and i'm gonna take little bits and put it on my face because i do not know how to apply this i'm gonna be honest with you because i know the touch one has like a little stencil you can use but let's see It does feel very soft. Alright guys, so it feels very soft. It's very seamless. So let's see how it works when I have actual makeup on. So we'll see later. So the next product we're going to try is someone, something I'm really excited about because I need a new foundation. New foundation. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I've seen this everywhere on TikTok and everyone that I've seen it on, their face is just seamless and no imperfections on their face and it looks so natural that I was like, I need to try this. And I also think I got the wrong color because um, I've been in home, at home for a month and a half and I'm not as dark as I usually am. I got 511 as you can see. Um, so let's try it out and see how it goes. And this foundation retails for $12, so it's a pretty good price. So I'm just gonna take a little pump on my hand. Oh, that looks so dark. Yes. Okay, it looks a little dark. It looks a little dark. And I'll play it with my beauty blender. Don't look at it. I keep washing it. And it's literally, I just started using this like two makeups ago and it's still dirty. So, for life. So, go pick it up that from, I'm gonna pick that up from my hand. And I just place it on my face. It's so dark. So dark. Alright, it is dark.
All right, it is a little dark, but I think it could work. I think it could work when the concealer is on. And you won't believe what happened with it when I bought this foundation. Someone had already opened it, and I really realized. Like I'm, I'm so mad at myself that I didn't even look at it. It didn't even have the seal and anything. I was still putting it on and risking myself because I didn't want to go outside again and get it. You know, social distancing, and it's not in the city. It's not essential. So why would it be outside? I don't know how crazy this looks on camera. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'm just rubbing down my neck. It's just a little bit, a little tiny bit darker. And in situations like this, make sure you put your foundation on your neck because, because it looks crazy. I can't believe I got the wrong color. What a foundation that was already open. That's something we're trying to be respectful. <laughs> Why did I do that for? Okay, okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. And the next product we're gonna try is one that's been really, really popular online as well. Is the Elf Camel Concealer. This is the hydrating one because I do have dry skin. This concealer retails for six dollars, and it's supposedly a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Not the hydrating one, but the regular one. They have a regular one and that and a hydrating one. So I'm very excited to try it on. So I'm gonna put it on. I got medium peach as my shade, so kind of light. I want it for like highlighting and stuff. Let's see how it goes. All right, so this is how it looks now. I'm gonna blend it out. It's light, but why not? Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We all know that I'm not good at picking shades, I guess. I don't know, they didn't have a lot of shades. And this is the result. Let's not panic, I did get a setting powder with color. Let's see if that works. All right, and the next one we're gonna try is the Maybelline uh, Finishing Powder. This one is also TikTok and also Instagram. Very popular. So let's hope this helps me. This reaches for $7. I was shook when I saw that it's is a loose powder and a seven dollars you crazy and i think this is the only thing i actually got the right color on so let's hope all right guys so i do like this powder it's very soft it feels like nothing in the face and it's seven dollars it has a little bit of color it's not like a crazy color scheme but i think it made everything look more good like it better because i look crazy for a little bit so this i really 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 recommend i really like this powder i think i'm gonna keep using this a lot i'm gonna apply my bronzer really quick and i'll be right back all right guys the next product we're gonna try is the maybelline cheek heat this one was seven dollars is i was very excited about this too because like a sheer gel um gels are really popular right now um like the glossy looks for summer and spring so I'm very very excited for it and it kind of looks like a paint little pot thingy I love it. I'm gonna put it a little bit on my hand and then dab that on my face. I mean, the color I chose was Fuchsia, Fuchsia, I don't know how to say that color. Spark, it's like pinky. I hope I got the right color. This is how it looks. Yep. Yes. All right guys, so the next product we're gonna um, try is the Last Queen Drama Eyeliner from Maybelline. I made a huge mistake when I went to shop. I'm my not a mess. I'm a whole mess. Like, I don't understand. I got the gray one instead of the black one. It retails for $10. It's pretty good for a liner. Um, you get a lot of products. I've tried it before. It's really good. I tried the black one before. Very, very good, but whatever. It brings a little brush. It's like slanted, which makes uh, your liner application easy. It comes in a little potty pot, and you have to be very careful because it dries out. You can put a little bit of oil on it and it gets better. This is how it looks. We're gonna hop. We're gonna hope that it's actually more like darker than um dark gray. <laughs> Let's try it because I'm a mess today.
All right, this is how the liner looks. I actually really like the texture of the liner. It's really nice. It's really, really nice with my liner. I'm kind of mad I didn't get the black one. But this color is actually really nice if you want to do like smoky eyes, if you need to as a base. Very, very nice. I actually give this a 10 out of 10. Like, it's really good. When I'm telling you it's really good, like, it's crazy, crazy good. I like it. All right, guys, and I added a little bit of color with my with my Novena palette. Um, we have two more products and we're gonna be done, I promise. All right, guys, the next product is the Essence Mascara. It's Lash Princess. Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This mascara retails for $5, and everyone says that it makes your lashes look fake, which, not in a bad way, but in a good way. Let's try it out and see how it goes. And this is how the brush looks. It's very skinny. Let's see. All right, guys, and it's okay. It is nice. Four or five dollar mascara. Um, I like mascaras that are lightweight. This one's a little clumpy. It clumps all your lashes together, so that's what I don't like about it. But it's really nice for like an everyday mascara because not anyone wants everyone wants to spend 20, like twenty and thirty dollars for mascara, a luxe mascara, and this is pretty good. It works. So try it out. Let me know how you feel about it. All right, guys, so the next product that TikTok made me buy is the NYX Butter Glosses. It was a hashtag for a long time. I never tried them. This retails for $5, pretty good price. It's small, but I think you can get a lot of uh, a lot out of it. So let's try it on and see how it works. All right, guys, and I'm using Cinnamon Roll today. Have it on. Uh, there was a lot of drama. Well, I read a lot of drama about this color because a lot of people was like, this is not the color, that's not the original Cinnamon Roll. This doesn't look like cinnamon, obviously. So that was the issue. I think it's cute. It's nice. It's a nice like pinky, pinky situation. All right, guys. So the butter glasses are really nice. This is the color. Again, I use cinnamon roll. Really nice. Um, I think they're okay. That's a good. It's a good everyday gloss. I really like them. Nice texture. They don't feel heavy. They don't feel sticky. Really nice. One of my favorite products about this uh, video. It was really nice. All right, guys. And now I'm going to tell you. And now I'm going to tell you what products I really, really like. And what products are okay. Well, you don't need them in your life. <laughs> so, let's see. This is my opinion. So, I love the concealer and I love the foundation. If you get the right colors. Because I definitely messed up. This concealer, I'll probably use it for... Um, pardon my eyelids for um, eyeshadow and the foundation is my summer sheet so I'll wait until summer to use it the fit me powder I love I'm in love with feels very natural not extra drying but it's kind of drying if you have dry skin might be an issue if you want to set your foundation if you want to set your foundation really nice recommend it the cheek tea I don't know how to pronounce that cheeky the butter glasses and the liner love this is very glossy, very natural. You're gonna love on your face. Like this is really nice, I'm telling you. And you can use it on your lips as well, so 100%. And they have so many shades. There's an orange one that probably looks so good on. Not even kidding. So that, a must, the lip glosses, a must, and they're cheap. And the liner, liner, 100%. Even though I got the wrong shade. So if you get the right shade on everything you get, you'll probably be okay. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you social media, my social media links down in the description box, and I'm also going to link them right here. Not link them, but I'm going to leave them right here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Any opinions on my video, good, bad, leave them in the comments. If you have anything else that you want to watch, let me know. Um, I am trying to grow my hair for quarantine, so if you want to see some of the tips and tricks I've seen online to help that, that's why it's crazy, because he is probably back. Supposedly. He is that for your hair. So that's why I'm trying to not style it for now because I don't need to have a style because I'm home all day. If you want to see that, leave it in the comments, leave a like, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.